Two Bison football players are gathering at this hour at Newman Outdoor Stadium for a benefit softball game. It's being spearheaded by Philadelphia Eagle quarterback and NDSU alum Carson Wentz. Wentz has been busy during his short return to Fargo. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie caught up with him at a morning youth football camp. Still try to work your ball security. Still try to work your ball security. Run back inside. We've all heard the saying, small town, big dreams. It holds true for Carson Wentz. Carson, Carson, Carson. <laughs> 250 kids piled into the Samford Health Athletic Complex at NDSU to catch a glimpse of the star and learn a little bit about his favorite game. Turn run back, turn run back, turn run back. Oh, that's a tackle right there. Atta boy. I love it. Wentz says the biggest emphasis for the day was making sure the kids had a good time. For me, it's always just to tell them to, to dream big. Um, not let circumstances and anything else in life um, kind of hold him back or anything like that. He said he loves working these camps and seeing all the kids so excited. He says it wasn't too long ago he was that kid in the stands. It's always cool. It's always humbling to we are all yelling right now, but seeing all the 11 jerseys, both NDSU and the Eagles jerseys, um, it's super humbling to know I was, like I said, I was that kid. As far as playing in the NFL, Wentz says it just goes to show it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. If you can play, you can play. I would just always tell myself to just keep dreaming big. And that's, that's probably been one of the biggest messages just because um, being from North Dakota, you know, people want to write you off. I was I was undersized for a while and then I grew quite a bit. But so people always want to just write you off and, and tell you what you can't do. And I always just want to say, uh, believe in myself and what I, what I believe I can do. Although he's always in football mode, he's excited to get back into focusing on training for the season. He added that he is feeling good and healthy. In Fargo, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. Stick around. We'll have more on tonight's benefits softball game coming up on Valley News Live at 6.